All right, we're going to look at how to make a website using um, basically just Notepad and uh, getting familiar with HTML tags. First things first, start a folder. So I'll create a folder called My Website, and it's a good idea inside there to create a subfolder called Images. Um, later, as we develop the site, there'll be more folders. But for now, let's just have a folder for Images. That's obviously where the images for the website uh, will live. Once we've set that up, we can open up Notepad. And this is the basic structure of an HTML site. So these are tags. We have this starts the HTML document, this tag down here ends the HTML document. This starts the body of the web page, this ends the body. This starts sort of the head of the web page, and this ends it. And then of course a title would go right in here. So we can start typing some things in. Um, our title for our website can go here. And then what we want to actually appear on the website goes here. Uh, once we've typed the skeleton out, kind of the basic structure of the HTML document, then we can just save it. And we want to save it as not as a TXT file. Often we'll call our homepage index, and we want to save it as a .htm file. So we'll save that inside of our website folder. We save, and now we can preview it by going to the website folder and clicking on index, and it will run a web browser, and that's our site. Our title appears up there, cool website. Uh, this is a very cool site. It will get better when I get done. If you notice, this is all written on the same line, even though in HTML it's on different lines. So if you want to actually space things out, we use other tags. So BR will make a break or a hard return. If we want to do uh, things like bold writing, then we use the B or the bold tag, and then we turn it off so that anything between these two tags uh, will be bolded. And that's basically how HTML code works. So we'll save this. Go back to our website, we simply refresh it, and now we have it bolded. We have it on two different lines. Very important, if you'd like to learn more about HTML, is it is all over the web. So if we search HTML code, uh, the W3 schools are great. Let's say we want to learn how to do a link. Just click on HTML links, and as we browse through, here's the code to make a link. So we can copy that, put it into our website. Let's make a link to cbc.ca. And this is in between these tags is what will actually appear on the page. So if we save this, go preview it again. And now we've got a link to CBC. We click on that. Hopefully, yes, it takes us to CBC and catch up on all the news. So that's a very quick intro to HTML tags. Um, most important thing, get used to using some online resources. There's some great stuff out there. Anything you want to do, create some tables, create lists, um, change colors, different symbols. Um, it's all out there. So good luck and enjoy.